Hello lovely violin players. In this lesson we're playing page 45 in your book and we're practicing exercise 177 and by the end of the lesson you should have a really clear idea about how to play the exercise well and we're learning some new notes here. One is the third finger on the G string and we'll come to that in a moment it's called C and also the first finger on the D string which you already know which is E. Now in order to find where those notes are, where I'm going to start playing long bows on the G string, starting with no fingers at all. So will you play with me? We're starting on an open G string. One finger on G. Next we're playing the second finger on G and we'll have a gap between fingers one and two. So there is a space. This note is called B. And now if you place your third finger right by the side of this second finger, like that, you're going to have your note C. Here it is. Now let's carry on and play an open D string. One finger on D. Next let's place our second finger close to this first finger. So you have your pattern like this. And now a wide gap for your third finger on the D string. Well done. And this is what this whole lesson is about today. So let's recap. On the G string, we have this finger pattern with a wide second finger and then the third finger close to the second finger. On the D string, I've got finger one, finger two is close, and then I've got a gap for finger three. I've got the gap between fingers two and three because my second finger has moved positions. Can you see it used to be there and now it's here. And that gives me the space between fingers two and three. Bearing this in mind, let's play the exercise from the beginning. I'll count us in for four and I want you to make your bows long so that you make a good sound. And we're going super slow so that we can explore those finger patterns. Before we can start and find that first note C, I'm playing this. <laughs> So I'm playing G, one, two, three, and that helps me find the third finger in tune. So let's do that again. Ready? And. Close together now. Well done, really well done. Now for some, this is really tricky stuff. So if that is you, that is fine. Give yourself some time and come back to this exercise again tomorrow and the day after tomorrow and over the next two weeks and you will settle into this technique. It just feels very unfamiliar having that second finger close, doesn't it? I'm sure that with a little bit more practice, you'll find it becomes familiar, you'll get your head around it and before too long you think nothing more of it. So really well done for persevering with this. Now if this is something new that you've never done and if you find that this video has been helpful please subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. I do really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Happy practicing and I look forward to seeing you very soon. Goodbye.